Hello, hello, what's up my dudes? It's me, Toby from Morningwood and for today's video, we're going to work on this slab. This is my first ever big slab project. This slab is an acacia wood slab, 4 inches by 40 inches by 10 feet. It was originally 14 feet so I had to cut it somewhere, I forgot which point. This video is sponsored by Lotus Tools Philippines. Performance delivered. First things first, we're gonna plane this down with a hand planer. This is an important step because this will remove most of the material. The whole slab is so much uneven, there are so much high points and low points. There are chainsaw marks and so much dirt. So the right tool for this job is the hand planer. Take note that this will not flatten the slab yet. We are just removing much material as we can before flattening it with the router. I'm going across the grain because it's just that much easier. But I will also plane along the grain later. So as you can see, the wood has revealed itself. It's so nice. Now we have an idea what the wood could look like. Now, you might ask why I'm not working on a table. So I don't have a big enough table for this and I don't have much people to carry this big thing. This lab is so huge and so heavy. Moving it around is just impossible for me. So I just made a platform out of plywood so that I could have a flat surface to work on. If you can notice, there are a few spots that you can see there. Those are the low spots meaning they are the deeper spots compared to the other parts of the wood. That is how uneven this slab is. Oh and by the way, I'm working in my garage in this video because I cannot carry it to the backyard where I usually work. So yeah, welcome to the garage. <laughs> this is Lotus's hand planer by the way. It is doing a great job in removing so much material in so little time. After numerous passes of the planer, most of the dirt, the chainsaw marks, and the low spots are gone. Now it will be so much easier for our router to do the flattening. And this is just for uh, test reasons. Uh, don't, don't. I think my rule of thumb. I think it's safe to go one eighth. This is an eighth of an inch. You can go. That's my my limit. One eighth of an inch, borderline safe. Anything over that, uh, a bit unsafe. And uh, it's hard to push your router if you are removing more than an eighth of an inch. I think normally I'd go a sixteenth of an inch. That will be safe for you, your piece, and your machine. Going sixteenth of an inch will not put a heavy load on your machine, on your bit, and more or less no tear out on your piece. But look at this. It's so smooth. The gaps are not that big and I'm I'm removing an eighth of an inch here. So wait, let's look a little closer. There. An eighth of an inch. Rule of thumb, don't go over an eighth. 
So yeah, let's finish this thing and uh, we could flip this to the other side and then we'll go to the sanding part. Yes, sanding! <laughs> Take note, make as many passes as you need. For the video, I just showed one pass, but in total, I did seven passes on top and three to four passes on the underside. So here we are. We finished with the routing. We finished with the flattening of the slab. It is very much flat. Let's check. Let's check. Zoom in that and let's zoom in. It is very much flat. The router sled that we made did a pretty good job. But as you can see, there are some router marks and we are going to get rid of that with sanding. I'm going to start with 80 grit sanding and then... By the way, this is also the underside. Uh, the client wanted to stain the this Akasha table but I want a natural finish. So I asked the client if I can finish the underside with its natural color so I can show you guys what this Akasha slab looks like natural. And then I'm going to take a picture when they're done staining it. So I hope that turns out great. Now I'm going to do some sanding, but I'm very happy that this is flat. This started at five inches, four and a half, I think. There was a spot here that was five inches. That was the highest point. And then four inches was the lowest. So I had to take at least an inch off from the other side and then I took off half an inch from the underside so we're I think we're left with three and a half to three and three fourths somewhere around that range so that's a chunk of wood that we removed so much dust so much everything it was a ton of work I did I think did at least seven passes on the upper side uh, taking at least one eighth of an inch each pass i think one time i took a little more than an eighth but to be safe for the machine and to yourself one eighth is a rule of thumb that is good to stick with and then here i think i did three to four passes i did not need this to be very very clean the bottom side but it is decent now okay na siya. So now I'm going to get to sanding. And now our favorite part, the sanding. Let's go. So I'm going to start with 80 grit to remove much of the planar marks. Joke, not the planar marks. The router marks. The marks are not that deep and yeah, can easily be removed by 80 grit sandpaper. Next, I'm going to go to 120 to clean those marks that the 80 grit has made and then 180. Since the client wants to stain it, so I'm gonna stop 180. Now that everything is done, I'm going to cut it to final size. This is going to be uh, 280 cm long, so I'm gonna cut a chunk of it away. And after that, I'm going to treat these cracks with some bow ties. These just add a little mechanical strength so that the cracks won't get bigger. And now for my real favorite part, we are going to finish this wood with some boiled linseed oil. I wanted to go polyurethane on this, but since this is just the underside so that not much moisture could get in the wood, boiled linseed oil is perfect and cost effective. It's so cool how the grains just pop out after finishing it.
For the leg frame, I had a friend made it for me. This is a 2x3 tubular leg frame. And it just makes my life so much easier to have it made than rather I make it. So this is the last leg, fixing the leg frame to the tabletop. So yeah, that's it. Like and share this video, comment what you think, subscribe if I earned it, and see you in the next one. Bye!